you know what I mean you bring the same attributes from from you know your playing career and playing a team sport into your working career you know like you know your, your teamwork just even your communication your personal skills you know being able to speak to people within groups football has brought you know that bit of confidence out in me Yeah, so we won the Junior All-Ireland in 2002 and then, you know, we were looking forward to going into the senior status in 2003. Um, so at this stage, PJ Fahey took over his management as the manager. You know, unfortunately in 2003, um, we got knocked out in a, in a semi-final, but, you know, it was our first year at senior, so we did see it as, as a good step in stone and a good experience, and um, that experience brought us into 2004. 2004 we started back training actually in the November um, PJ was uh, he wanted to get us back good and early and get a good bit of work in before Christmas so he rang me I suppose at the beginning of November I just took a phone call from him you know PJ would check in with the players all at the time so you know it was nothing unusual and uh, he just threw it at me then I suppose you know like do you want to be captain for the year and uh, like I was shocked that you know the management actually even would consider putting me in that position but like I was you know I just felt it was such an honour to take it on yeah so I said yeah straight away I didn't need to be I didn't need to go and think about it or anything like that so it was just a huge huge honour to take on that captaincy role. Back in 2004 I think the age profile maybe in a senior team was a lot um, younger than it would be now like I was 22 at that stage and I would be seen as one of the more senior players so, um, you know, that said, you know, there was other really good girls there. You know, you had Fiona Wynn, Emma O'Malley, that would have been there previous years to me. Um, Ruth Stevens, Joanna Connolly, they would all be, you know, slightly older than me. And, you know, they were all good leaders within the squad. So, I mean, you know, rather than just having one person as a captain, I think uh, as a group, we, we, we showed good leadership throughout. You know, within Galway, everybody knew us at this stage, and um, just huge excitement going into playing Dublin. Um, we knew they had a lot of experience behind them. They had been in the All Ireland against Mayo the previous year, but for our own selves, we just concentrated on our own game and just made sure we had ourselves right. You really appreciate that you're actually lucky to be filling one of those first 15 jerseys. So. I think you remind yourselves of that, that you're actually very lucky, you're in a very lucky position to be out there, to be, to be taking a Galway jersey on the start in 15, playing in Crow Park. So when you go out there as a team, you're not just doing it for that 15, you're doing it for the squad, and you're doing it for your management, you're doing it for your families, and you're doing it for the Galway supporters. You can't hear anything, so literally when you're actually on that pitch, it's you and your teammates and obviously the referee, but like other than that, no, you don't hear anything. So the instructions from the sideline at that stage go out the, the window. It's basically what you've done preparation-wise, you know, on the training ground, preparation coming into this, and it's all about communicating with your teammates while you're, while you're out there. I think the, the first half seemed to be going away from us a little bit, like Dublin had hit the, the post at one stage, then they'd hit the crossbar, and I mean, we had a lot of wides, we'd kicked, in, we'd kicked into blocks, I think we had seven wides in that first half, and um, I remember just before half time, I think it was in the last minute going into half time, uh, the ball kind of came out to me. I wasn't really in a great position, but at the same time, I just angled my body just to go for a shot. I said it was time just to go for it, put the ball over the bar. We needed scores at that stage. I think us as players ourselves were just very disappointed with our first half performance. Um, PJ was always a confident, confident guy in that he would instill confidence in the players. He kept calm and just told us just to claw it back bit by bit and you know some of our senior players as well spoke up. Um, girls that would have had huge um, roles within the team even in previous years showing great leadership and speaking to the players and just you know making sure that they kept encouraging us and um, 
I think, as I said, as a group, we remain calm and collective at half time. I think as a team, you know, the older players, younger players, everybody stepped up. I mean, Nifahi had, um, she had moved from centre forward to centre back. You know, she took on that centre back role at 16 years of age. Um, you know, we had, we had other young players out there, Una Carroll um, and Marie McDonough, they really upped their performance in the second half. And um, I think just as a team and a whole, as a whole, um, as a collective group, we just played a lot better. I mean, the goal probably just gave that bit of confidence to the team. Um, it was the first time I think we had got level with Dublin, you know, up until that point they had been leading throughout. So um, it just gave us that belief and, you know, we just wanted to take on the game more. And I think by the time Adele Kunkennan got in for the third goal, it just gave the girls even more belief and we just wanted to keep pushing on and pushing on. But, you know, at the same time, we knew this was a game that was going to be going on for, you know, 60, 65 minutes. So it was just play it to the bitter end. Not long after my goal, actually, uh, Dublin came up the other end of the field. Bernie Finley was going through. And again, you know, it shows the leadership of our younger players. Um, Niamh Fahey got on a really good tackle. Um, the ball, she kind of half blocked it and uh, took a deflection and Una Carroll saved it. So look, at, I mean, I got a goal one end, but within a minute, Dublin could have come up the field and got another. It was just like, even looking back at it now, it's like a dream. Like, it's like, did that actually happen? And there's times where you just have to pinch yourself and say, did that actually happen? Um, I mean, it was just the best feeling in the world, really. And I mean, um, it's something that will just live with me forever. Like, you'll always remember, like, I'll always remember just meeting PJ at the, in the middle of the pitch and having that embrace and, you know, going up onto those steps and, you know, lifting the Brendan Martin Cup. I mean, it's just like, it's, it's every girl's dream, really. And I mean, just, I just feel that you know I was it's so thankful that I actually got to do that um, for that team because I mean just a special bond that we'll always have.